Tasmania's part of Australia, but it's completely different. You know, it's got different jungles, it's got pine forests. It's almost got everything that Australia has to offer just in one remote island. Really, really fun being here. It was pretty wild driving into this area. Once you get into where we are now in Derby, it's kind of out in the sticks a little bit and kind of stuck in, I guess you could say, a bit of a time warp. All the locals are just super chilled and there's not too much going on. You know, a couple of cafes and maybe one pub and that's about it. Found our little hut here and took a little while to find it, but after we found it, it was pretty cool to just kind of be in the forest, no one around, you can't see any other houses or any civilization really. It's something different, something relaxing and jumping on your bike and just riding straight out of the cabin, 10 minutes in you're into a single track. I didn't really expect to see such great trails and so many trails in Derby and they're just really, really fun. They flow super well. Sometimes you don't even have to put one pedal crank in the whole way down and it kind of has a feeling of cross country and downhill at the same time. I got asked who I'd want to come on this trip and ride with the most and I thought Paddy would be the guy to have the most fun with. He's a really good friend of mine and it's been really good. What are you about to do? Gonna blow my pillow up. Ready? <laughs> Troy gave me a call and he was like, hey, they want to film this uh, video in Australia. What do you think about joining me and coming riding? And I think my first reaction was, how do you think I'm gonna keep up? He said to me, you're gonna be able to follow me? And I said, well, how fast are you going to go? He's like, I'm going to be pinned. And I'm like, well, I guess I'm going to be pinned as well. Yeah, Troy's definitely a good wingman. He's got this injective energy, you know. He spends pretty much his whole year racing bikes and, you know, that pressure of racing. And when he, it comes to, you know, hanging out with Troy and the fun we have, the stupid stuff we do, it's quite fun to uh, get a song that we both know and really break out. I think we're going to have a singing career after this. Pretty funny. He's still got that sense of humour that really makes you laugh. Yeah, so World Trail is owned by Glenn Jacobs and it's a trail building company that's here building and those boys have built so many trails in such little time and the skills that, you know, Reese and Ryan have, I definitely couldn't do it and I don't have that kind of knowledge. Yeah, it was awesome to go riding with Ryan. He's uh, super talented on the bike and he's kind of so big and lanky but he can move that bike around pretty quick as well. Standing on some rocks in a big old riverbed that uh, got destroyed about 100 years ago. There was some massive rainfall and uh, the dam that they built actually burst and it sent like a 100 foot wall of water down the valley. It was a pretty big tragedy. So the town really didn't have a lot going on and now it's transformed into a mountain biking destination. To say that every trail here is awesome is you know, something special and it's kind of cool now that they're getting these trails which is gonna only benefit the town and hopefully resurge the town back up to what it used to be. Yeah, that morning I'll probably never forget, we just started walking up through this thick jungle bush and kind of pop out onto this fresh trail that's only just been built, the new Blue Tear Trail and just everything flows so well. The best part about riding bikes is having fun with your mates. It's always a good time and something that, you know, even if I wasn't doing this as my job right now, I'd still be riding my bike for fun. So after riding with Troy for a few days, it's made me realise that he's riding for the same reason that we all ride. It's just because he loves being on his bike and having fun. People see him as a bit of a rock star, but deep down he's just a person like you and I and he can definitely ride a bike and 
has just been a great trip and it's funny we're staying in this cabin in the middle of the bush. I didn't realize the shower and toilet was outside the accommodation so it's made life pretty interesting. You know I've had a lot of fun this whole week riding and spending time with Patty and just doing all this dumb stuff. Super fun riding all these tracks and some of the best trails that I've ever been on so definitely for sure I'll be coming back.